joined once again by safety Khalil Barnes. Y'all fire away the questions whenever you're ready. Did with, without RJ on Saturday? Um, I feel like we played we play well at times, but it's hard to be perfect the whole game. So we definitely had some mistakes in there. Like, JP was out for a little bit, so I moved to free. Uh, Rod played a lot of strong. Kuz played a lot of nickel. So just moving parts, that was a good thing, though. That was a positive of the game. We have a lot of guys that can play a lot of different positions, but we just got to keep working and getting used to it to where we can play as fast as we can as our primary positions and our secondary ones too. You talked about you know, you're playing so well because you had you know, all these veterans around you and RJ out there and JP out there for a period of time. What was that like? How did you feel? Um, it's still kind of the same because they're with you in the preparation phase. So during practice and stuff, still get a lot of pointers. RJ really wasn't in meetings and stuff. So I texted him a lot last weekend. We came up here yesterday and watched uh, tape together. So even though they're not on the field with you, just having them during the preparation process, you still have Koobs out there, three-year starter, who really helps you. And then even JP9 in the game, as soon as I get to the sideline, he's kind of telling me things to look out for, telling me why I did good, telling me things I can improve on. So still there for sure. Yeah, Jalen, sorry, David, Tiger. Jalen gets hurt seven, six, seven plays into the game. You come over to the side. What does Coach Khan say to you? You know, and and you know, did you say, okay, I got this. I'm ready for the challenge. Um, uh, all week, kind of. Well, we knew because RJ was gonna be out all week. I've been kind of like working free safety, so it was just kind of one of those things where I was just preparing for it just in case, and it just happened quicker than we need, like or quicker than we expected it. So uh, Coach Khan was just kind of like, "You could be gonna go to free this series." I was like, "Okay," uh, he didn't tell me I was going to free like whole time. And then at halftime, he was like, you feel comfortable? I was like, yes, sir, I feel good out there. Like, it's just football, so just get out there and play. Same thing with Rod. Just told Rod, like, it's your shot. Like, God, I give you an opportunity. Just go take advantage of it. Yeah, for people who might not know, like, what is the difference between free and strong? What, what are the responsibilities that actually switch off? Um, strong safety is more of like a field. You're going towards the speed. That's more like you're probably thinking – coverage type thing with those guys and then free is more it's a lot more in the brain like you got to think like I, was, I told JP he plays the hardest position out of our secondary you got to see the front a lot you got to understand the calls you just got to see so much and be able to react with time but you're more boundary you're thinking more fits while also having to be a guy who can help him pass Uh, yeah, it feels good, but like I said, I just got to keep uh, watching tape and kind of just diving into the playbook more and more. It's like a reset with free. I know Star, back in my, like, back in my mind, I got to think about it on the field. Strong, I know pretty well because it associates with Star real well, so I just got to kind of reset, keep going into the playbook with free so I can play as fast as I can out there without thinking. What's it like for a defense to give up 200 yards, nine first downs, and walk away with a little loss? Um, you know, it's a complimentary game, so it's like there were some times when the offense, when they went and did scored or something, like we had a chance to have a three and out. We gave up, did we give up two first downs on that drive? I don't remember if we gave up two or one, but just stuff like that. So it's tough for sure because we, we want to win just as bad as anybody. Like I see a lot of stuff, it's questions like what we do in practice and stuff. Like we work hard. This is like a year-long job. No, no one do this just to go and not get the result we want. But it's tough. Um, but we, we stick together. Like Coach Sweeney said, you can't wish for a better yesterday. So just got to move on and keep going. Do you, I guess, do you like turn off all social media? Like, how do you keep kind of the noise? Down? Yeah, I got all my media muted. I got uh, Twitter is gone. Um, Instagram muted. I really just talk to my friends on Snapchat a little bit, and I text my parents. <laughs> yeah. Any questions for Khalil from Zoom? Anybody in person? Does this Notre Dame offense present a pretty, I mean, you know, we'll just watch them, you know what they bring, like a physical test yeah. every snap pretty much. What's your, what are your reflections on that, observations? Um. This team this year, 
from just from like what we done talked about a little bit, what I've seen personally. Last year it was more like just physically dominating. They could do every play. This year is the same thing. They can physically dominate you, especially in the run game, every play. But they have weapons. They have a, a vet quarterback out there who they trust. So you, you it's really hard to make them one-dimensional this year. So it'll be a tough, a tough challenge. But just got to prepare, get in that film room, figure out the plan, and go establish it. Nah, not really. Just football. Anyone else for Khalil? Um, it was my so end of my sophomore year. I, to I tore my ACL, and so like that off season, Coach Fab, his name is John Fabris. Um, he just kind of told me, while I can't work on like physically work on football, I can work on the other aspects of it, and like that's part of the mental game. So he kind of got, got me into really understanding like how important film study is. Then my trainer Ken Whitehead kind of told me, on film like some things to look at. And then just naturally, like, growing as a player, growing as a man, like, just watching it, seeing things, being a football player, just, yeah. How much were you studying for, like, high school? High school? Um, I really, it really wasn't even at night. Like, I watched it after practice with my teammates. That's what I would try to, like, incorporate, like, kind of team thing, but that wasn't that long. People had homework, go home, take care of, like, high school stuff. But, um... During class, <laughs> it's sad, but like during class, if there was a video going up, watching film. It was just that kind of thing. So, yeah. Yeah, I watch. I watch a lot of tape here at the facility, though. Like when I get home, it's kind of just hit that bed, go to sleep. But yeah. Anybody else? All right. Thanks, Khalil. Thank you. you.